Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslora123 and this is going to be a Primark shopping haul. So hope you enjoy watching. If you do, please click like, comment, share, please subscribe to my channel. That would be awesome. So as you can see, there is a big Primark bag here. Primark. Amazing fashion. Amazing prices. So amazing. <laughs> so I went shopping and in this video I'm going to show you what I got so first of all I'm going to show you these two headbands that I got these are so cool and one of them was reduced can you guess what one I got reduced is it this one or is it this one this is a fun game isn't it what headband was reduced it was this one <laughs> I like to make a bit of a fun element of these videos, you know, a bit of a uh, bit of fun. Anyway, so yeah, this was the one that was reduced. So originally it was five pounds, but now two pounds. Oh, actually, look. Yeah, yeah, there we go. I was going to say I thought that was six, but no, it's still a five. Um, so yeah, five pound to uh, two pound. And I really love it. You can see all of the pearls on it. Uh, obviously, they're not real pearls because it would be a lot more expensive, but it's really cool, isn't it? I think it's really nice. It's really cool, isn't it? I sound really Essex. Mind you, I'm from Essex, so that's probably why I sound Essex. Sorry, I'm in a weird mood. Um, but yeah, so this is reduced. I've got this. Really love this. Looking forward to wearing it in my hair. And also I've got this one here, which was uh, £2. Really love the colouring of this one. It's like mint green and black, like the design and stuff as well. So I really like these big kind of chunky uh, headbands sometimes. I've got a lot of those little thin ones, which are fine. Um, but I, I like a big, I like a big chunky one sometimes. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. But yeah, got these. Okay, so next up, I want to show you uh, these sports bras that I got. Um, I Basically, I was drawn to them because I love this one. Look at the colouring of this one and the design. It's so cool. I don't know if it's kind of 80s or 90s, if you know what I mean, but I just really like it. And uh, it's uh, also teamed up with this pink one, which is really bright neon pink, which uh, in this lighting doesn't look that pink, but take my word for it, it's like neon pink. There we go. That's better. You can see it better now. Um, but I really like wearing sports bras because they're just, you know, they give support and they're comfortable and you don't get like the wires sticking in at the back. So uncomfortable, right? Um, these are size 18 to 20 XL. It says light support, two pack seam free sports bras, the support and comfort. Um, so yeah, they're crisscross at the back, which is pretty cool. So um, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> so I was in Primark right and I was at the till paying for my stuff at, well waiting to pay for my stuff and uh, basically I saw these uh, in the queue and I was like oh my god I used to play that as a kid so for £2.50 I thought I would you know go back to my childhood fun games uh, and buy catch ball game does anyone else remember catch ball game so this is it if you hold it out like this you might recognize more so you've got the little lever and it pushes the ball up then you have to kind of throw it, it th well it throws itself and then the other person has to catch it with their one like whoop got it and then you throw it back hours of fun I had with this as a kid um I'd even play it on my own which is really sad really <laughs> but true um I'm an only child so it's sometimes you know my dad wouldn't particularly want to play with me or my mum wouldn't want to play with me so I just I just kind of play all on my own it's like Ugh. But um, yeah, I thought, oh, let <laughs> me break it then. Um, I thought this would be fun for me and Nathan to play. I don't think he'll think it's that fun. Um, but I think it'd be good fun. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> and also I got one of these. Does anyone remember these as well? So this is, they've just called it Water Game. Um, I don't think they were called that back in the day. I'm sure they had a different name. But anyway, uh, I mean, really it is doing what it says. Uh, it is a water and it's a game. So yeah. Um, so if you can see here. So I'm trying to get it to focus. So you've got the little flower in here, the little circles, coloured circles, and you just press the button and look, it's so cool, man. Come on, shake up, move. There we go. But um, yeah, I mean, you probably think, why do you want that? But honestly, I used to find these so like relaxing and like therapeutic to do. And this is cool as well, because not only are you, you pressing the button, but look, the little little flower spins round 
it's very therapeutic and you know I suffer from anxiety and stress etc etc um, and this kind of thing really helps uh, me to just chill out relax and you know it's as simple as pressing a button look at it it's amazing for a pound I give you a toy of fun and relaxation <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about just ignore me today also I got this top here um, I don't know why the lighting's so bad. I don't normally film this way round. Maybe it's that. Hold on. There we go. It's not particularly that much better, but still. So as you can see, it's like a floral print, which I love a floral print, and uh, it's really floaty, sheer material. Now, they did have this as a dress as well, um, but I thought, oh, no, nah. I, th I, th I thought it was a bit too much as a dress. It's quite a bold print, you know? Um, so I thought as a top with some nice black leggings or jeggings or whatever, um, it's fine, but I didn't want to wear like a whole dress of it. But yeah, I like the sleeves as well, like little three-quarter length sleeves, and uh, yeah, I think it's really pretty. Do you think it's pretty? I think it's pretty. Um, so yeah, got that. Also, I got myself a new cap. This is a black coloured cap. I've already got a grey coloured cap. I've got a pink coloured cap. But I just I just wanted something that wasn't grey or pink. I just wanted something like a darker colour. Whether it was going to be black or navy, either would have been fine. But I saw this one. I was like, yeah, this is cool. Um, and this was only £2.50. I just hope it fits me because I've got a really small head <laughs> just a random fact that you didn't know but I have got a really small head and sometimes I do have to wear this is so embarrassing kids hats um because my head's so small and like normal hats just look like too big on me and they just look silly so um I'm hoping this is an adult's hat so I'm hoping this will fix it has got the adjustable bit at the back um which should hopefully be okay but um we'll see but yeah it's cool it's only plain it's not particularly exciting but it you know it does the job. It covers my messy hair. I just put my hair, you know, under the hat and it looks like, yeah, your hair looks really good because it's just like shoved under a hat. <laughs> I got some pur uh, purples. I got some perfumes. I don't know why I said purples, but anyway, I got some perfumes. Um, so these are little miniature bottles. As you can see, the size next to my hand. And I am tempted to go next time in town to get another couple of these, like each one, because they probably won't last long. Trust me, anything that's good in Primark, you go back to get it and it's gone. So, um, but yeah, this is Opal Crush. Loving the bottles. Like, they're so nice, these bottles. Uh, Opal Crush, Silk Blush and Warm Coral. I wish you could smell through the screen what they smell smell like, but you can't, obviously, because there's no such thing as smell-o-vision. Well, there isn't yet. No doubt in the future, um, there will be. My voice went then. <laughs> um <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, maybe in the future, yeah, they'll have like smell of vision, but um, for now, they, they don't. So you'll just have to take my word for it. They're really, really nice. Um, I think my favourite is the Opal, the Opal Crush, but um, yeah, they're really nice. So yeah, new perfumes, and they are all two pound each, which is an absolute bargain. I picked up this little uh, nail polish for a pound. So I love this colour, it's so nice, like a dark cherry kind of winey colour and um, it's a gel effect one, which I really like the look of like gel effect nail polish because it just goes super shiny and uh, yeah, I think honestly, Poundland and Primark's nail polishes are really good, like genuinely. I've used to, you know, back in the day pay a bit more out for nail varnishes, you know, get all the labelled stuff, but they chip within a few days, whereas these, they actually last okay amount of days for the price and... Yeah, there we go. I'm rambling, sorry. But anyway, I've got this new nail polish. <laughs> okay, also I got these Disney-themed uh, badges, pin badges, whatever you want to call them. Uh, so these are not for me, even though I think they're super cute and I love Disney. Um, they are for uh, my friend Kelly. It's her birthday soon and she loves all things Disney. Um, I was going to get her a few scratch cards for her birthday and I, I saw these and I thought, I think she'd like these better. Maybe, I could be wrong, I don't know, but um, I picked these up for her. So you've got the little bow, you've got the hands, you've got Minnie and Mickey, the little star, and the heart there with the kind of rainbow colour in. So she can put these either on her bag or her jacket, jumper, I don't know. Um, or she might not even want to use them at all, she might just want to keep them like this. Some people do. Um, but it's up to her, they're going to be her presents, she can do what she wants with them. My favourite one is Minnie. I think Minnie looks super cute. Um, but yeah, so I got those as a gift. Okay, before I show you the last item in this shopping haul from Primark, or as my friend calls it, Primani. Whenever I say I'm going to Primark, she goes, what, Primani? I'm like, oh. 
<laughs> you've said it for years, but anyway. Um, <laughs> Prior Marnie. Uh, I just want to show you this scratch card. Uh, I actually won. It's a Poundland scratch card. And there is a Poundland shopping haul video that I've put on this week as well. I did that one first and then uh, the Primark call now. Um, but yeah, when I was in Poundland, I picked up one of these scratch cards and it's really good because uh, a lot of the profit from these scratch cards does go to charity. I think it goes to uh, a breast cancer charity, which is brilliant. Um, but yeah, I won. I won three pound. I was like, what? I don't normally win on these, but um, yeah, there we go. There's the three. There's one there, one there, one there. So um, yeah, I'm going to go in next time I go to Poundland and just get like, you know, three pounds of a bits and bobs so I just thought I'd show you that because it was on the floor here randomly um but look this is the last thing I want to show you and how cool is it I definitely save the best till last you save the best till last um so yeah I'm not allowed to have this though which is very sad but no I will have it but just not until August when it is my birthday August the 3rd if anyone wants to send me loads of presents and cards <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, well, not really. But um, no, <laughs> my mum said if I'm out shopping and I see anything I like uh, for my birthday, um, feel free to, you know, get it and she'll give me the money for it. So this was, I think, £10. Hold on. Where's the label? Yeah, £10. Um, and I, I just like, oh, my God, I love this. So the rucksack I'm using at the moment is just like a pink velvety one that I've had for years. And it's okay. Like There's nothing wrong with it. But, you know, I do like changing my bags a bit. Um so yeah, as you can see, it's got sequins all over it and look at all the different colours. Like originally, I just thought it was pink, which I loved. Um, but when I um, I filmed an ASMR version of this video, basically, for my other channel. Uh, if you don't know, I've got another YouTube channel, minxlaw 123 ASMR. Put the link down below, go subscribe. Thank you very much in advance, maybe. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I filmed a video for that channel and it was only when I was doing this with the camera, I was like, oh... It's all like colour changing, like rainbow effects in the sequin. So it must be when the light hits it, it um it creates like this kind of rainbow effect on the sequins. Sorry, I'm really sad, but I find that really cool. Look at it. Just take take a moment of calm and see how beautiful this looks. Uh, me and Nathan watch uh, CNN News at night and uh, they have this thing, this section called 30 Seconds of Calm. Let me know if anyone's seen it, but uh, it's it's really nice. It's just 30 seconds like in the adverts and they just have this random like beautiful images and relaxing sounds and it it's just that 30 seconds and I love it. I'm like, oh, the 30 seconds of calm's on. <laughs> So thank you, CNN. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> what am I talking about? But this is like, look, take 30 seconds. I'm going to give you 30 seconds of calm just by looking at this bag and, and looking at the sequins as they, as they uh, sparkle. Look at this. Oh, I won't do the whole 30 seconds, but can you see where I'm coming from? It's very satisfying, oddly satisfying to look at it. But anyway, so um, I'm not allowed to use this till August the 3rd, so I've got to put it in the cupboard. But how gorgeous is it? Uh, it's plain pink at the back, like metallic pink. Um, and then obviously at the front, you've got the sequins, which is cool. Um, you've got a compartment here and obviously a main compartment in here. Maybe um, after I've got it and I'm using it, I'll do a what's in my bag video. Would you like that? I haven't done a, one of those for ages. Um, you can't see because all the packaging, but there is a compartment in there. There's a compartment for your phone as well, which is cool. And I like the size of this bag. This is like my perfect size kind of rucksack. There were some other bags as well, which were really nice, but they were either too big and just look stupid on me because I'm so small, or they were just too small um, and I couldn't fit any of my stuff in. So this is the perfect size. I can't believe I've spoke about one bag for ages. I'm really sorry, but... This is my favourite thing I got whilst I was out shopping. And can I just say, how shopping is so, like, it's so good for the, like, the, the mood, you know, like, if you're in a bad mood or if you're stressed, shopping, retail therapy, it's just, it's so good. Like, you know, I'm not going to go mad or anything in shops, but there's something about going around shops, looking at stuff, and, you know, it's just nice. It's nice. I, I, I find it, you know, therapeutic. So let me know in the comments if you also enjoy a bit of, retail therapy um I do go shopping when I'm in like a normal mood as well like if there's nothing wrong with me I still enjoy a good old shop but you know that day I was I just I don't know I was feeling a bit kind of grumpy and I just thought yeah I'm gonna go shopping and I, I just you know and, and it's nice it cheers me up when I go shopping I come home I'm like excited about what I got and 
it's just good, you know. <laughs> I'm really rambling. I'm so sorry. I actually had a troll comment me the other day in one of my videos being like, oh, you ramble, you ramble, you ramble. There's something wrong with you, girl. I was like, yeah, there's quite a lot wrong with me, to be fair. And I do ramble. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. I've always been a bit of a rambler ever since I was a kid. So I can't help it. <coughs> sorry, little cough there. But listen, thank you so much for watching, everyone. And let me know in the comment section down below what you like the best. Um, there is, as I say, a Poundland haul as well. So um, it'd be the video, I think, before this or maybe the video just one more before this kind of thing and um, whatever I've decided to put on in between. But uh, yeah, please click like, comment, share, subscribe. And don't forget, I now have memberships available uh, on the channel. If you want to support me and my channel, if you want to get some awesome perks, uh, please press the join button and uh, you'll see all the information about becoming a member from as little as a pound a month. You could, uh, you could, uh, you know, become a member. I sell on one of those adverts for a pound a month. You could sponsor a Laura. <laughs> hey, come, come, spoil, uh, come uh, sponsor me. Um, anyway, I've literally gone on and on, so uh, I'm going to go now. But thank you for watching. And don't forget to come and follow me on Twitter at MinxLaura123 and Instagram, MinxLaura123. And uh, become a member. Press the join button, subscribe, smash the bell and all that jazz. And take care of yourselves and... Um, Obviously, if you're in the UK, don't forget, when you go out shopping again, uh, I think it's, when is it, the 24th, maybe? You do have to wear masks when you're shopping. So put that mask on, stop moaning, stop complaining, just get that mask on and, and go shopping. Um, I'm going to, you know, wear the mask. Well, I have been, actually. Uh, when I've been out, I have been wearing my mask. Um, I, I don't find it comfortable, I'll be honest with you. But I know that by wearing it, I am protecting other people and, uh, and myself. And I just feel like, you know, it's just a mask. You know, there's so much more things that are worse in the world. Like, just wear a mask. I can't stand these people complaining that, oh, my God, you know, I've got to go out and I have to wear a mask for 10 minutes in a shop. Get over yourself. Put it on. You know, protect other people. Um, and, and people like doctors, nurses, you know, people in dental surgeries, etc. they're having to wear a mask for a long, long time, you know, not just 10 minutes while they're, you know, nipping in Primark. Um, I mean, my best friend, she works in a care home and she does really long shifts sometimes and she has to wear a mask all day in her shifts and her face is hot and her glasses steam up, etc. But she's still doing it. So if I have to wear a mask for 10 minutes in Primark or Poundland, then I'll wear it. I'm not going to moan about it. Sorry, I just wanted to have that little rant because it really annoys me that people just like there's some people and they're like, I'm not going shopping again now because I have to wear a mask. It's just a mask. Put it on. Stop it. I mean, obviously, I think there's, uh, you know, if you've got medical conditions where you don't have to wear a mask, completely understand. And, I, I, you know, I support people. I know that some people with certain breathing issues and stuff, they don't have to wear them. And that's, that, you know, totally understand. But if you haven't got any issues medically and you're just doing it because either you're vain or you're just being an idiot, stop it. Put your mask on. Go shopping. Enjoy shopping. And there we go. <laughs> Oh, it's been a weird video. All right, thank you for watching, everyone. I'm going to sit here now and calm down by playing my little pound water game. Look at that. <laughs> Can't even get that to work. Come on. There we go. Look, pure bliss. <laughs> All right, everyone. See you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.